standing with me today on this beautiful Sunday afternoon is Ross Monaco, and Ross is here representing the American Legion Post in Stumbo. Ross, what office do you hold at the local Legion Post? Well, I was just re-elected my, for my second term as a commander of the Legion, and uh, my commander usually uh, oversees everything that happens at the Legion. And, uh, Although I do have uh, I have my executive body that uh, that we work pretty good together, and we have meetings every once a month. Now, Ross, how long has the Argonne Post of the American Legion been associated with Legion Baseball and with Ange Vaccaro? Well, I think since it's, its inception about uh, 35 years ago, and that, maybe a little better. And has Ange been the coach since then and the only coach? Yes, he has. He's done a wonderful job, and I hope I hope he can last for another 10 or 15 years. Of course, he's putting my uh, my sister up to a lot of problems because he's my brother-in-law on top of it. Well, I didn't I didn't realize that. So uh, he's causing her a lot of problems with it, doesn't <laughs> yeah, he? But uh, she goes along with it. She goes everywhere. I think she really enjoys it. Uh, um, Ross. Um, this Legion team has been successful over the years. Could you cite some things that's happened uh, with this Legion team over the last 35 years? Well, my memory is not too good about all the games, but I know they've always had a wonderful following from the student mill residents, uh, along with uh, the parents of the ball players. And they've gone everywhere to hire you, and they have a. Uh, everybody can tell you they had a wonderful following to all their to all of their games, and they went as far as uh, Stevens Point, Wisconsin, in the National that one year, and uh, I think if we had played, had these lights up here we had tonight, and they had some practice and light baseball, I think we could have won that game. Uh, uh, in other words, you're saying that the American Legion post here in Stumble has been state champs over the last 35 years on different occasions. Yes, they have, we, and I'd like, to, I wish, I'd like to say this to all the, the people in this valley, if they would come down to American Legion and see the wonderful trophies that these boys have won throughout the years, they, they can see how many times they've been uh, dedicated and then around the first place, second place, runner-up, and what have you. Well, you must be quite proud of the leadership that Andrew Carroll and Chuck Watt and the type of boys that have participated in the American Legion program. I think Andrew's got one of the best staffs that anybody could ask for. They all know what to do, they all work together, and the boys all love them. And you know what I like best is the fine, the fine quality of uh, men that come out you know, for, for the team, and they've, they've made the team, and long after they've, they've gone, that they've gone on to better field, like uh, the boys that are out in, out in our west. I know Ange has quite a few of them out there, and he keeps in touch with them with them pretty good. Well, thank you for being with us today. Ross Monaco, commander of the Argonne Post of Steubenville.